Megan Visser here from Growing Up Herbal. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then I'm grateful you took some time to stop by and watch today's video. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, then welcome back. I'm super grateful to have you here. In this week's vlog, I am going to show you all how I go through and organize and get all four of my boys' clothes ready for the upcoming season. So I have been doing this process for several years now, ever since my oldest, Judah, was probably two or three, have I been kind of shopping for their clothes this way. Um, what I do is every single year, we have a big children's consignment sale that comes to our local area twice a year. It actually comes in the spring and it comes in the fall. And this week it's here for a fall season. So what I do is I store all of the boys' clothes in bins out in our shop. I'm gonna show you guys that in just a second. I pull those bins out twice a year. I go through all the clothes and I organize them. I, I get rid of things that are stained or dirty or torn or we just don't need anymore. And I put them in piles for trash or piles for donating. Um, and then I make a big list of all the things that I need and what I have, what I need to buy. And I take that list to this children's consignment sale and I shop from that list and that's it. And it saves me a ton of money um, I want to say that on average, I can get clothes for all four boys for under $300. And I, again, that's, that's for like the fall and winter season or it's spring and summer season. So I do that two times a year. So $600 for all of my kids clothes for the year. And I very rarely need to go to a store and buy something new. Now, sometimes I have to do that. So then that clothing budget for my kids will increase just a little bit if I can't find what I need at the consignment sale. But for the most part, all of these years, I have been able to shop this way for the boys and I can get them nice name brand clothes that look good. They have plenty of stuff for the whole year and it just works out really well for us. So I thought I would show you how all of that stuff works for me this week and hopefully it'll help some of you guys who are wanting to see how other larger families do, um, how they just store and prepare and plan and shop for um, all of their kids clothes on a budget. This is how I do it so I thought I would show you guys. So in just a second I will take you to the shop and show you where we store all the clothes. Then I'm going to show you how I organize the clothes and make my list and then I'll take you to the sale with me so you can see what it looks like and um, how I shop for the boys and then when I get home and I unpack all of their stuff I'll show you how I put it back up so that it's ready when it's cold enough for us to pull everything out for fall and winter. Or if it's summer, spring and summer, it would be warm enough <laughs> to pull it out for spring and summer. So I hope this video was super helpful for you today. I hope it's something that you enjoy. If it is, I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel because I would love to keep up with you and get to know you better. Okay, so here we are at our shop. Um, this is where we store all of our yard work, equipment, and a bunch of junk. <laughs> Let me take you guys in here, turn the lights on. So as you can see, it's quite the mess. We moved into our house about a year ago and there, some of the previous owner's stuff is still here, like these trucks <laughs> here and here. Um, and we've got a bunch of house stuff, like extra flooring that we'll use. And this is all of our trim work. Um, we still have boxes you can see that we've not unpacked completely. So anyway, this place will eventually get more organized as we kind of get things picked up. Oh, there's our stove, our wood stove that's getting ready to go in our house for fall. Anyway, um, this is where I store bins of clothing. It looks like someone has opened one and been in it. Anyway, these are um, stored according to size. So. I think Ezra is in 60 clothes and he will be going into 70 clothes for fall and winter. So we've got from seven, eight, um, I think it's like nines and then we've got 10 through 12s and I think 12 through 14s. Um, some of the clothes we have more than others. Uh, so we'll have two bins for one size. You can see over here, we've got a bunch of winter coats that are like falling out of a bin. <laughs> so over here in this area is just where I keep all of the clothes and I'll keep like holiday decor, things like that, toys. Again, quite the mess over here. But I am going to get Dean's hand truck, if I can find it, and I'm gonna load these bins up on the hand truck and I'm gonna bring them to the house so I can go through them and decide what clothes we need for this consignment sale. I have 
got myself a glass of water kefir. I have pulled my hair up so it is not in my way. I've got all my clothing bins. I have some paper and a pen to make my list. Um, one of them will just be like gathering all my information, like what I need to collect at the store. And then another list will be like a much neater shopping list kind of copy. I also have a Sharpie and a ton of plastic bags because what I do is when I organize the clothes into piles, I will write what the pile of clothes is and then I'll put it in this bag with my, off my Sharpie. Anyway, you'll see what I do as I go through the process. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my pen and paper and I'm gonna think about all of the things that I need for the boys for fall and winter. So I know that everybody needs a coat and I know that they need like snow pants um, that they can wear with their coat if it snows and they're outside playing or if we go tubing or skiing or anything like that. Um, so I'll put snow pants on this list and I know they need snow boots. Everybody needs a good pair of tennis shoes, which I know we already have because we just bought those. Um, and then I think I want all of the boys to have like a hoodie or some sort of little pullover. So if we're inside and they're chilly, they don't wear the coat, but they can just pull that on. So let's just write down, I'll put pullover. I think the boys have some of these. Okay, um, they need at least, they need some pajamas and I'll put like three, make sure everybody has at least three pairs of those. Um, okay, let's see. I know that I want them to have um, maybe three shirts that are a good fit for church for fall and three that are a good fit for winter as far as colors go. Okay, so let me think about this. Um, I'll put church shirts. And yeah, I'll put three fall, three winter. I guess that's good. That sounds like a lot. Maybe I'll do two fall, two winter. No, then they would be wearing the same shirt too much. Anyway, we'll do three. And some of them may work for fall and winter and then they won't need that much. Um, okay. So then as far as, I always also try to get them like a set of clothes that are what I call play clothes and then a set of clothes that are nice clothes. And I definitely spend more money on the nice clothes and I don't spend much money at all on the play clothes because I don't care about them. It's just what they wear around the house to play in or if they go outside and they play and if they get grass stains on the knees, it doesn't matter. So I don't spend a ton of money when I shop for the play clothes. So when I say play clothes and nice clothes, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I want them to have probably five play outfits. That's probably all they need because uh, they, don't need, they don't need too many. So let's say play clothes, I'll put five and then nice clothes. Let's say seven sets of nice clothes. And actually maybe more. In the fall and the winter, we buy a ton of jeans because I do wear a lot of jeans. So I may buy a, um, more nice shirts, I'm not sure. Seven to 10 nice shirts for each of them. Let me just write that down, seven to 10. Okay, um, let me think about this. Jeans, they need think it would be really good if each of them had, we'll put seven to 10 as well. If I can't find that many, that's okay because they have jeans from summer that I'll count towards that. Um, and then I'll buy what I can at the sale and just make do if we don't get enough <laughs> or I'll go and that's when I'll buy um, from like a local children's consignment store. I may go in there and see if they have any jeans in their size or if not, if I can't find them anywhere, then I would go and buy them new. Um, okay, so. I don't know if you can see this or if it's backward for you on the camera, but I've got my little list of everything that I need. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at coats. Um, see, this is a really good coat for like in the, in the, in the fall, if we go out, so that's a 10, 12, so that'll fit Isaiah. And then I think this is the size for Ezra because it's like a six, seven. Yeah, so there's a winter coat. And I need to look at the other winter coats and see like, um, 
if I have two in the same size and one's nicer, I'll keep the nicer one and I'll get rid of the, um, the extra one that I don't want anymore. So I'm gonna head to the coat closet and see what all I have. Okay, so I wanted to show you our coat closet. Way up here, I keep a bin with um, like toboggans and gloves and things like that in there. So the boys have tons of that stuff. These are the snow pants and each boy has a size that will fit them except for Judah. We'll have to buy him a pair. And then down here are some winter coats. Um, mine are in my closet, but here are Dean's. And then each boy has a winter coat that will fit him. This is Judas from last year, um, so I'm probably gonna see if I can buy another size up so he'll have another one that will fit maybe a little bit better in case that one doesn't fit. Down here, sorry, it's a mess because I've had shoes down there, but these are the boys' snowshoes and I've lined them up according to size and I will have the boys come in and try them on so that we know which ones to get rid of and which ones still fit. So the largest down here are what Judah wore last year and I think they're size three and I'm guessing he's gonna need to go up a size but we should have enough for everybody um, except for Judah and because he's my oldest he's the one that I run out of clothes <laughs> for and I always have to buy him new stuff so he will end up getting the most clothes but um, that's just the way it is when you're the oldest okay so all of this is clothes and snowsuits that I pulled out that Ezra wore when he was younger those need to be donated um, these are, actually, let me take you guys over here real quick. Sorry, I'm moving you around a lot. Okay, here's our coat rack. And I've gone through, and all of these coats right here are kind of like rain coats, like they're really light fall weather kind of coats, and every single kid has one of those. And then back behind there, you can't um, really see, I pulled out like warmer coats. These all have like fleece linings in them. Sorry, please ignore our project mess with our... <laughs> fireplace over here we've got a mess anyway um so yeah so these have like um like a fleece lining in them and all of the boys except for judah has one of those so i will need to pick him up a little bit warmer of a jacket kind of thing um but everybody should have a light coat a medium coat and then like a really cold winter coat right here um so that is how i keep all of that stuff in the closet or in our entryway um, and i will Take my little list here and I have written down, I don't know if you guys can see it. So next to coat, I've written that Ezra, I, Uriah, and Isaiah have coats, so I just need to get Judah's. And then same thing for the snow pants. And then I'll do this for the pullovers and the light jackets. I'll write down the names of who, what, whoever I already have stuff for and then who I need to buy stuff for, I'll put on a different list. So when I flip over here, to Judah's, it's gonna say he needs a winter coat. He needs um, like a medium, uh, like a fleece lined coat or something like that. He's gonna need snow pants, he's gonna need snow boots. You know, I'll list all of these things. And like I said, he'll end up being the one that has the most because he's in a new size. Um, and then the other boys probably won't need as much, but I need to keep going through the bins now of all their clothes and figure out what I have for all of this stuff down here and who needs what, and then I'll stick it on their lists. Okay, so the boys just came in from playing outside. So you're gonna hear them and probably see them running around. Um, I am going through size eight. So this is Uriah, my third um, clothes right now. I have got a ton of church shirts. You can see that a lot of these are kind of fall colored. And then closer towards the bottom, I've got like winter colored, some greens and reds and dark blues. So um, I'm putting all of his jeans in a pile his pajamas, these are winter jammies in a pile, um, sweaters and nice shirts in a pile, church shirts in a pile, um, and just seeing what I have right now. Okay, so at this point I have a huge pile of shirts for fall and winter and I'm gonna go through and look at each of them and I'm gonna separate them into two piles, one um, with nice shirts and then one that has shirts that I think would be fine for playing in. Um, so that way I can kind of tell how many more play shirts or how many more nice shirts that I need to buy at the sale. Okay, so I have um, a whole stack of shirts that are all nice shirts. So I probably, I think I wrote down I needed eight. No, that's not right. I wrote down seven to 10. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, so here are eight for sure that we already have. So I'm just gonna kind of wad these up 
and put these in this bag. And I'm gonna write the word nice on the bag so I know that these are nice clothes. And, and I'll do the same for the play clothes, for the play shirts. I actually need to get, um, I feel like I had like pants, like little loungy, comfortable kind of pants. I felt like I had a bunch of them that went with these play shirts. But I don't see them, so I don't know where they are. Oh, I just ripped my bag. Oh, it's okay. It'll be all right. Um, so I'm going to have to get the pants, some pants to go along with this. Okay. So I should be good to go on shirts that are nice. Um, I do need to buy some jeans. So I wrote that down already on my list. Um, however many pairs of jeans. And I need to put play pants. And if I look at my original list that says I need five sets of play clothes, then I'm just going to put a five beside of the play pants so I can get five play pants and, or those just really comfortable cozy pants. And I will put all of these play shirts in a basket or in, I'm sorry, in a bag. And then I will look at these shirts and see which ones go best with the pants that I buy. And then I'll get rid of the rest. I'll either donate those or um, give them away to someone who needs clothes. Like some of my sister-in-laws are starting to do the whole, like let me have some play clothes and nice clothes kind of thing too. So maybe they are looking for some play clothes that don't have to be real nice for some of their kids and give them away. Anyway, we'll do something with them. Um, and let me write play on this bag. So I don't forget that these are play. Okay. So that takes care of Uriah, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. So I'll go back to my original list and I need three pairs of pajamas and I did put pajamas in there. So he has pajamas and I've got jeans on here. Nice clothes, play clothes. Don't need any nice clothes. I don't need any church shirts. Um, he has a light jacket which is right there. And he has a winter jacket and we just need to do boots. Yeah. So as you can see, like I've only done two kids. So Judah needs all of this stuff and Uriah only needs this because I have so much that I've passed down so that my younger kids are going to have more of the clothes that they need than Judah because he's oldest and I don't have any of those sizes yet. All right. So I'm going to do the other two and then I'll be back and show you what I do at the end with my final list. Okay, so I just want to show you guys really quickly what a bin looks like when I'm done with it. There's the bag labeled, and here are all of the clothes. And then they go all the way to the bottom. So these are nice shirts. I think that's jeans. There's play clothes. Um, there's probably pajamas in the bottom and shirt shirts in there too. So I just keep everything in the bin like this. And I have my lists down there with the things I need on it. And then I'll pack these back up and stick them in the corner until I go shopping. And then I'll add whatever I bought to this bin for this kid in this size um, after the sale. Okay guys, so I have, um, as you can see all the bins back here, I finally finished going through all the boys clothes and I have remade my list here. This is my shopping list. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So um, Judah is up here and I've got his name and his size and all the things that I need to buy him and how many of each. So like pajamas has a three next to it. Church shirts has a three for fall and three for winter. So I know exactly how many and um, what kind that I need. And sometimes like if I need just a pair of pants and it needs to be like navy or they need to be khaki color, I'll write that in too. Um, but since it's fall and winter, we just need jeans. We don't really do like the, I'm, I do that more in the summer when I need shorts and I need like navy or khaki shorts. Um, but in the winter, we just really do jeans mostly. Isaiah has so much stuff. All he needs is a couple of fall church shirts. And the same thing for Ezra. Ezra's six and he's my youngest and he had a ton of clothes and he really only needed two fall shirts as well. But yeah, so this is pretty much how I do it. 
So pulling all the bins out, going through them, making a big list of what I need and how much of each of those items, and then looking through each of the boys' clothes and deciding what they already have and what they don't have, and then I've got my little shopping list here. So this helps me to stay organized because the first several years that I went to this um, children's consignment sale, I did not use a list. And I came home with so many clothes, so many things that they didn't wear, or I bought doubles of something, or um, I forgot certain things. And so it didn't really end up saving me that much money because I had to go back out later and buy the things that I forgot. And then we didn't use the things that I bought more of. And so it just wasn't, I just wasn't very organized and I felt like I was wasting money. But doing it this way helps me to be organized um, and to save the most money and get all of the things that I need for the boys so that they look nice and they have everything that they need for each season. So tomorrow's the sale and I'll take you guys with me then and you can see what it looks like inside. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday and I am on my way to the consignment cell. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting is weird, if it keeps getting like dark and light, but it's um, they're super cloudy and overcast and it's raining a little bit, so the lighting may be strange for just a second. Um, anyway, I um, am off to the consignment cell. I'm gonna be driving about an hour and 20 minutes maybe an hour and 30 minutes depending on traffic because I live out in a very rural area of East Tennessee. And so if we wanna go anywhere where there's big things going on, we have to drive at least 45 minutes, if not an hour to get anywhere. So this will be an hour and 20 minutes, but like I said, I only do it twice a year and I get all of the clothes and everything that I need for the most part. Um, and so I don't have to worry about it for the next six months and it's totally worth it to me to do this. Um, and I save a ton of money, I think. Um, so yeah, so I'm on my way. When I get there, I'll probably have to wait a little bit because the doors don't open until 6 p.m. Um, this is a benefit pre-sale. So they charge $5 at the door um, and all of the proceeds go to, I think it's a crisis pregnancy center in where the sale is happening. Um, and then you can shop for like, I think it's three hours. The sale's open for three hours tonight, so anybody can come in and shop early. And then the sale actually officially opens tomorrow through Saturday to the public. They have a half off day on Saturday. Um, I never go to that, but my sister-in-laws who live closer, they do go sometimes on the half off day and get some things that um, they find that are half off, marked half off. So yeah, when I get there, I'll stand in line for just a little bit, and when they open the doors, I will take my list go shop for all of my stuff and then I will um, take you guys around a little bit and show you guys what's there as well. clothes that I shopped at at the sale and I wanted to show you the last little bit of how I do all of these clothes. Um, I have like three bags full of clothes for the boys. Um, I did end up picking them up some extra things that weren't really on my list. Um, I got Judah some leather boots, like little leather shoes. Um, this was not on my list, but they were in good shape and they were a really good price. I don't know if he'll wear them or not. He can be kind of picky about shoes, but they weren't that expensive. So I thought it's worth buying them and seeing if he'll like them. So I got him that and then I picked up a bunch of um, like winter hats. Isn't this one cute? This is for Ezra. <laughs> he loved it. Um, so like for playing in the snow and playing outside or uh, here's some more. I got... Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates baseball cap. My husband and his family are from the Pittsburgh area. They're big Pittsburgh, all sport Pittsburgh fans. <laughs> 
more hats. Um, these were things I just didn't put on my list. Um, but I looked and I saw them and they were a good price. I think I got some winter gloves as well because I feel like the kids are always losing gloves. They're always losing these little hats. So I always pick this sort of stuff up too. Anyway, um, the way they do at the sale is you take what you're buying up to the counter and everything is tagged right here and they just rip the bottom of the tag off which has a barcode and that's how they scan them and then they they uh, just put the hangers and everything in these big bags for you and you take them home so now i have to take the time to unpin everything and uh, take all of these little tags off and then put the sizes in the boys boxes so these are like athletic pants and sweatpants that judah will just wear with like a long sleeve t-shirt around the house for playing in or just being comfortable in there's some gloves um so i have to take all of the clothes out of these bags i'll lay them in piles according to size so all of judah's 12 to 14 clothes will go in a pile the 10 to 12 clothes for isaiah will go in a pile um, Uriah's and Ezra's will go in a pile and then I will take all of the pins and the hangers off and put those somewhere and I'll fold everything up and put it in their boxes so you can see their boxes are still back here so I'm gonna put all of their clothes in their boxes um, and then I'll take their boxes all back to the shop and put them back in the shop and when it gets cold enough probably sometime in October I'll pull them back over here I'll take everybody's clothes out and wash them and then I'll switch them out. Hi Oliver. You see Ollie? This is like his favorite spot to sleep. Ollie. Ollie James, have you been sleeping? Hi. Are you going to come see me? Oh, are you stretching? Don't claw my leather chair. He's a good boy. Anyway, so I will, um, Get everything out for Judah, like all of his clothes that I have planned for him this year. I'll throw them all in the wash. I'll take everything that he's currently wearing. I'll put it in the 12 to 14 bin. And when everything is done washing and drying, I'll put all of that stuff in the closet. And then I'll do it again for Isaiah, 10 to 12. For Uriah, size eight. And then for Ezra, who is a size six. Now, one thing I do wanna say because in earlier videos, I mentioned that Uriah's birthday is in December, so he wears two sizes uh, for fall and winter clothes. And so I went to the cell, and I'm looking for size nine clothes, and I can't find them anywhere. And then I remembered, I had a really hard time finding size nine clothes for Judah and for Isaiah. And some children's clothing brands, they do make size nine. Some of them call it 910, and then others just don't even make it. So I guess your kid is meant to stay in size eight until he's 10 and then he goes up to size 10. Or I guess just some, some parents, it's like you just put whatever size clothes on fit your kid. Um, my boys tend to be smaller but taller. Like so they need like the smaller size waistbands or that's why we need those little, um, they're like adjustable straps that go inside jeans um, because they can adjust them according to their waist. But then... You know, Uriah, when he's in a nine, if he needs size 10 jeans, he'll just have to adjust the waist, but he'll have the length that he needs. So, um, thankfully, I think we have a lot of size 10 stuff. So, if he needs that, he will go up and wear a 10. Um, and if he still fits in the eights, then I'll let him wear the eights until he grows out of them, and then we'll move up to the 10. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that it's a little different for everybody, depending on what brand of clothes it is. Sometimes you can find nines and sometimes you can't. But at the sale, there was no section with size nine clothes at all. It was just size eight, then it went to 10, then um, like the 10 says 10 to 12, and then there's the 12 to 14. So anyway, um, I could not get all clothes in size nine. So we'll just figure it out and see what we can do with <laughs> clothing for the next two winters, two fall and winters. So I am going to wrap up this weekly vlog. I hope this was helpful to you guys who um, enjoy seeing what other families do to kind of get uh, all of their kids' clothes organized and do it on a budget. Um, I do want to tell you, I think I ended up spending like $244. I think that's what I spent. And like I said, I bought some extra stuff. I bought the shoes, the gloves, the hats. I also bought the boys um, some fun little toys. I got a little, um, uh, what are those things called? You jump on them. <laughs> 
I'm not sure what they're called. Anyway, I got it. It was like $10. It's like a little toy for Ezra. And then I got some little science kits and a little like robot kit, like just little toys. I, I like to pick the boys up something and bring them those things home. So I got about four things, a little fun thing for each boy. Um, so really when it came to clothes, I didn't spend a ton. So it was great. Um, I definitely feel like I save a lot of money shopping the sale and I've got everything that I need for fall and winter. I don't have to think about it again. When I get everything out and put it in the closet, they're set until I need to do this again for spring and summer. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, seeing how it works for me and the way I do things. Um, if you have a large family and you do things differently, I would love to know what you do in the comments. I mean, I'm always trying to improve this process. Um, I love that I only have to do it twice a year and I'm not constantly thinking about their clothes. Uh, this really helps me to be like really organized twice a year and then and then I don't have to worry about it again. But if you do something different, I would love to know what you do because like I said, I'm always trying to improve this process. Um, and as the boys get bigger and they wanna start picking their own clothes, I this is gonna change for me again because they are going to wanna go to the sale and pick out stuff or I don't know. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Um, and like I said, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because I have some more good stuff coming out in the coming weeks. All right. I will talk to you guys later and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.